Hi, Jonathan Head with Nimblehost here. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Armadillo with a Rapid Weaver website. So the first thing we need to do is just get Armadillo installed. So you'll need to download Armadillo onto your computer. Uh, we provide a download link after you've purchased Armadillo, and we also send you one via email. So I've downloaded the file here onto my desktop. And to install, we simply double click the file, and it's going to open open a window that looks like this. To install Armadillo, we simply double click on this icon here and Armadillo will be installed for us automatically. I've gone ahead and done that, so I'm not going to do it again, but once everything is installed, the next step is to add it to a Rapid Weaver project. So I have one here and I've opened up the Stacks 2 page and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the stack itself onto the page like so. So once we've done that you'll notice that this nice graphic props up with uh, some steps on what we need to do and some other information. So we're just going to go through this this step-by-step -step process. And the first step is to select your hosting company from the options listed on the right. You'll notice that we don't have any here and that's because the stack itself isn't selected. So we're going to go ahead and click on the stack once and Armadillo's options show like this. In this example, we're using a WebFection account, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. If your web hosting company isn't selected, or isn't shown, rather, just choose Other and you should be fine. So now the next step is to publish our website and then visit the page. And there should be a link there where we can enter our details and finish setup. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this page now. And it'll wrap a reverb prompt me if I want to save. And while it's uploading, then I'll go ahead and explain this other information that you're going to need. So Armadillo uses a database to store your content, and that's what allows you to use a web browser to uh, log into your website anytime and add new posts and add new pages and upload media files and all that other fancy stuff. So you will need to create a database uh, with your hosting provider and then have the information to connect to that database here. So this lists all the information that you're going to need. If you don't know what this means, that's not a problem. There are descriptions listed here, and you can just contact your hosting company and say, this is the information that I need, and they should be able to help you. So just before you go through this online setup, make sure you have this information on hand, uh, you know, maybe scratched down on a piece of paper or something. So now that that's finished published, publishing, uh, we're going to go ahead and visit the actual page itself in uh, Safari. So I'm going to go ahead and copy in the link and we're going to visit the page like so. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and make sure we have the latest version and then go ahead and click on the link. It says we've got a few more things that need to be set up so I'll click on the link here and yep it detects that uh, we haven't set things up yet and it shows me step one and that we need to enter in our database information. So I'm going to go, and go ahead and click this button here and uh, it shows me that I've got some information to enter and you'll notice we've got some tooltips here to explain what this information is if you're not sure what it is exactly. Um, in this case our database host name is correct, it's localhost so we can leave it as is and for this case we're using a test database and for web faction, the name of the database and the username is the same. And then we just put in the password, like so. And then when you click Next, Armadillo is going to run a check and make sure it can connect to your database. If it can't, then it'll pop up a little warning here and it'll say, can't connect to your database for whatever reason. And I would just suggest that you double check that you entered in everything correctly. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. Okay, it went through fine. That means we can connect to the database. I'm going to put in my password here, like so, and then just a email address. This email address is important in case you forget your password. Um, it's going to send the reset link to your email, so make sure that you put in uh, the proper email and that is typed in correctly. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next again, and then the only thing left to do is just choose the time zone that we're in. So that's fine for now. We're going to click Finish. And then it says everything's set up correctly and to check our email for login details. So the very first time that uh, you set up Arm Armadillo, it's going to create a admin user for you and the username is admin. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with those details. 
like so. And we're in. That's it. That's all it took. Um, we can navigate back to our main page like so. You'll see that um, it's already got a blog page created for us and that no, page, no post has been published yet. Um, but that's really all there is to it. Uh, so hopefully this helps you uh, understand the installation and setup process for getting Armadillo running on your Rappaloo website. Hope this helps. Happy weaving.